Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016. I'm so excited about today. I'm actually getting out and doing something. Joining the real world. Rejoining the living. And I want to take this moment to say thank you to all of my subscribers for hanging in there with me um, so far because I still have I still have a lot of learning to do um, when it comes to filming, backdrop, um, tutorials, cooking, you know, all the little videos that I've been putting up. I know I'm still a major rookie and I am learning and I'm going to continue teaching myself and learning and researching and following some really awesome YouTubers that are also teaching us newbies. Um, in fact, I think I will link, I will, I will link their channels down below because they have been a huge, huge help. They're awesome. They're smart. It was raining. So I just stayed in bed, um, with my laptop and I was doing my research. So I thought, I'm going to go look at, I want to, I just kind of like scammed over the videos that I do have up. And that one particular video, it's like a little two-minute video. I got like over 2,000 views on it since Friday. Actually, since Saturday, because I did check on Saturday and everything looked the same. So, since Saturday, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. And, um, and for those of you who are absolutely brand new that... I noticed a few of you did subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, welcome. And I just want to encourage you, if you haven't subscribed, that way you can come please along subscribe. with me on my learning journey here in YouTube. I'm having a lot of fun with this YouTube journey. You know, I started it up. I actually created my YouTube account in 2013. And then just because I started watching videos, I had an injury, a work injury. So I, I was doing a lot of recuperating, you know, and I, and, and just to keep busy and keep from getting depressed from the injuries and what I was going through, I just, I dove into YouTube, fell in love with a lot of channels that I, and I'm following them still to this day. I, um have a lot of YouTube favorite channels. It started off with makeup, beauty gurus. So many awesome, beautiful oh my God. young girls out there with their their channels. And they, I've watched them grow. I've watched them grow like overnight. And I can see why their channel grew because their content was awesome. And it still is awesome. I've learned a lot. I mean, I am 55 years old. I'm... <laughs> Trying to hang on to whatever youth I have left. But um, these girls are young girls. And I've learned a lot from them too. So. Um, I'm having fun. Like I said, I'm having fun. I feel like I'm part. Uh, well, okay. Getting back to my story. So I created my YouTube account in 2013. I believe it was January of 2013. I didn't put. I That year. In 2013, I want to say in either May or August, I purchased a little vlogging channel from QVC. It was like under 100 bucks, and I got it on Easy Pay. So I started experimenting with that little vlogging um, camera, which I didn't know how to use either, but I was having fun learning with it, and I did some really, really um, talk about rookie videos. And they're still up. They're there for you I'm guys, leave but it also for, for myself to keep, go back and remind myself or not remind myself just so that I could see that I, when I get a little discouraged about my channel, you know, moving along as slowly as it is, I'll go back there and I'll look at that and it'll remind me, Hey, it's not about being slow. I am so extremely grateful to you, my subscribers that, um, Back then, I had none, and I was such a rookie. I, I'm still a rookie, but a learning rookie. And also, I encourage you to please um, feel free to leave me some 
comments down in the comment section with ideas or um, anything at all. I would love to have a exchange with and get to know you, my viewers, um, and as well as welcome whomever is just watching and, you know, not subscribed yet. But please subscribe if you are just watching, please. So that way, um, it'll help my channel grow. I appreciate Thank your you. help. So, um, I'm getting ready because I'm going to a VIP, I mean, it's a concert at a local church here in Bakersfield. A friend of mine who I went to high school with, she was my best friend all through high school. Um, her name is Patty. My name is Patty. My family calls me Patsy. Um, my actual name is Patricia, but my family calls me Patsy. Um, of course, when I was in school, I had to, you know, change that family name. So I go by both. I have my family, they call me Patsy, and my friends from school call me Patty. So me and my bestie from high school, she spells her name different from me. I think she spells it with an I and me with a Y. So... I've been going through like a season of reconnection here since Christmas. No. I'm not going to say Christmas. It wasn't Christmas. That was another significant thing that happened. The reconnection thing has started up like at the end of December. Like December 28th. Around there. I've reconnected with four people. From. I mean unexpectedly. It was a surprise to me. And these are people that I grew up with. People that I love for my past. It just, you know, life took us in different directions. And not, not like I never, I forgot them. I've always loved them and thought about them over the years. But um, all of a sudden with Facebook, we reconnected. And my friend Patty is one of them. So um, she called me yesterday, invited me to go with them. Um, with her, she got a handful of VIP tickets. She doesn't live in town. She lives a few towns um, away from here. So she's like, there's this concert at um, VBF, which is called Valley Bible Fellowship here in Bakersfield. It's a huge Christian church. I used to attend that church, but um, I'm trying other ones right now. But anyway, don't want to go off subject. The concert that we're going to go see is, um, we're going to go see Big Daddy Weave. I believe that's what he's called. It's a Christian band. Um, they're all over Christian radio, very popular. So I'm super duper excited, um, not only to, you know, spend time with my best friend from high school, but to go to a concert and a Christian concert at that. So I'm excited. I'm actually going to, um, like right now after I'm done. I'm going to go and dry my hair and fix my hair. We're going Just kind of early because like I said, because I don't know what time she's going to roll into town, but I want to be ready when she gets here. So I'm going to empty the footage on this camera, my iPhone, and check out my old camera, which I'm this thing. This is that little um, camera that I told you about that I had ordered a long time ago on um QVC when I learned how to play off it. It's kind of messing up. So I'm charging it right now. I would like to take this because it holds more. I mean, it would, I can get more footage. It doesn't run out of charge very fast and it has more space, but I'm having problems with it. I think it's broke. Oh. But anyway, um, charging that up. I might take my old iPhone too. I have it boxed up and ready to sell it, but I think I'm going to charge it up right now and take that as well. So in case I run out of space on this phone at the concert, I can pull that one out and take footage from that other phone. Yada, 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 yada. I'm just blabbling away. So, um, I'm excited about the concert and I'm going to take you along with me and try to get as much footage as possible of the concert so anyway I'll be back I'm gonna go dry my hair 
I'll be back. Ironing my hair. I think I need to do my um gray hair hack. I did a video on that, on the hair hack, where you get some, I use, you know, some inexpensive eyeshadow. Whatever color I have it for that time, because I change my color all the time. Um, So you can see right now it's got some red in it. it used to be a blonde. Two years ago, I was all, almost completely blonde it started out um i started out getting um my hair weaved it started with like light golden brown being weaved into my hair slowly 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 and over time it was when i was working so I this great hairdresser she does magic with hair color and she doesn't burn or or damage hair. Um, but anyway, I'm not working anymore, so I've been off work for a while with my injury. And therefore, my color started coming out of a box when I was fighting my, my eternal fight with gray. I have a lot of gray already. And I don't like it. Sometimes I get some suggestions to tell me, just go with it. Just incorporate that gray. But you know what? I, I, if I ever get brave enough to do that, I might do it knowing that I have the funds to go to my hairdresser or go to Sally's Beauty Supply if I need to. and get, Or maybe I'll just get the stuff and have it ready to put some color back in my hair. Not ready to throw in the, that towel yet. Mm -mm. Not ready. So, yeah. I have this gray hair hack thing or hair dye hack where I just brush in some. I have a really firm makeup brush and I brush in some eyeshadow that match my hair and you can see the red up here. And that red highlight is the gray trying to spook in here. And see right around here. Look at me. I'm giving up all my all the things I'm trying to hide. I just put it out there. And I have like a great big gray mo right there that I've been fighting since I was 21 years old. It's a hereditary thing. I'm an aunt that's young and beautiful still and She's like me, her whole life, fighting it. Right now, she's completely gray. Now, her complexion, because she's lighter complected than I am, with that gray, and she's got long hair like me. It On her, it looks so beautiful. She's very attractive. It just, I think it, it, it enhanced her beauty. But she's older than I am. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just not ready for, for that yet. I'll just keep up the good fight. Play with color. I wanted to do Marlena from Makeup Geek. I seen I have her on my Facebook and I think right before Christmas she posted a picture of she's got long dark hair, naturally long dark hair. But she posted a picture where she did purple. Oh my god, I fell in love with it. It looks so good on her. And it's not a violet or a red like this. It's purple and it's beautiful. It just blended in so nicely with her dark hair. Her hair is actually darker than this. She's a beautiful woman anyway. So I think anything she would do would look awesome on her. I just contacted my friend to see what how the plan was going to work out. She, I'm going to meet her at, at an eatery, an old eatery, I would even call it a historic place, someplace she's been craving, takes her back to her high school days, so I said, yeah, I'll meet you there, I'm going to meet her there. 
grab a quick bite and then mosey on over to the church for the concert. I hope we get good parking since we're going to be in separate vehicles. But I think we had to do it like that because like I say, she lives... She doesn't live in town. I want to say maybe a two-hour drive from here. And she's going to commute. So, I mean, she is going to go back home. So, I don't, I think maybe she wanted to meet. So, in case I wanted to stay a little longer. She's got other, um, other people, friends of hers from, I don't know if they're from her job. Oh, she's retired too now. But I don't know if they're from her job or her church, but they're coming from out of town as well. They are also coming in their own vehicles. I'm wearing my ColourPop lippy today. I love yeah, this well, color. Look at that dot. I need this big eye mirror for the lighting and the viewer, the viewfinder in it because I can't see. Put some earrings on. I know I touched a little bit on last week's vlog these vlogs by the way I'm doing random daily vlogs not every day just random because I have so much stuff that I need to take care of oh my god yesterday morning Monday morning I started off with a plan I went um, started myself my coffee took out my booklet my paperwork on stuff important stuff that I need to work on and I got started on that and then I got phone calls, text messages, and I got poor Val. A bit. I'm not complaining because I had such a wonderful day. But make a long story short, I was not able to do the things that I had initially planned. But you know, my Mondays always will turn out like that. I don't fight it. I just go with it. Go with the flow. Um... And that's what I did. I just went ahead and I put my stuff back in their, in their little poly, poly envelopes and put it away for another day, which did not turn out to be today because today is all about getting ready because I'm super excited and it takes me forever to get ready because it takes me forever to get ready. I wish I could get this hair just a little more full of higher volume up here but I can't tease it because I can't bring this arm up and it just really mm, it frustrates me it hurts I can't use it like I can use this arm Ooh. I think I just wear bangs today obviously I just sprayed them so I don't have a choice. If I change my mind, it's going to ruin. I just put like a little tank on underneath. Um, casual sweater. Jeans. And I'm going to wear my Uggs because I think that big old auditorium, that church is huge. It's huge. It's like from the outside, it looks like a metal building. I'll try to insert some footage or pictures of it in the video. And I'm editing. Oh, that's right. Let me go back to what I was saying. Boy, I can lose track. I um, am not vlogging every day. Some days I really need to take care of some stuff. I had planned on doing that stuff yesterday. I was going to do a, a nail polish, um, this week's nail polish video, but I didn't get to that either. I have some things lined up. I'm going to um, have a pinch me box opening. I've been waiting. Can't wait to open that box. I'm going to do it in front of the camera. And I'm do a nail thing I'm do another and food video. I've been kind of keeping a, a diary of my grandmother's recipes for my. It started off for my family I cousins. I have family that lives all up and down the state of California, and we used to get together a lot. Of course, when we were kids, our parents made those efforts, and we were there. We all grew up together in Delano. Time changes. Down. People pass. People are no longer here. Uh, my mother, of course, spent every chance she could with her mom, my grandmother, while she was still alive. And my mom has all of grandma's things recipes. she made for my aunts and my mom and my uncles when they were growing up. 
and my cousins remember those things. A lot of my aunts have also passed already. My mom comes from a huge family, and there's only three girls left. There was altogether five girls and three boys, I believe. Five girls and three boys. So it's my mom. She has one older sister and one younger sister. So it's just the three girls left. But all of us cousins still stay linked together. Um, with my mom and my aunts and we use Facebook for that so we kind of been swapping recipes and I try to film my mom as much as possible making grandma's recipes and then I share it with um, the family so I'm gonna do another one I'm not sure which one it is mom's got like all kinds of ideas and she's like well we could do this and we could do that so I'm tr I mean I want to keep doing them. I'm trying to keep to my New Year's resolution that I really, it's not an official one, but funny how I didn't make an official New Year's resolution, but since it's not official, I've been keeping to it, which is weight loss. I need to lose a lot of weight. Lots. And now that I'm single, single old lady. No, I'm doing it mostly because for my health and my confidence and myself. I want to be healthy and active as much as possible. I've already got some limitations with some injuries and, you know, I don't want to keep this weight on to add more limitations. I want to get as, be able to be as healthy and active as possible and live for as long as I can. So I can hang around and watch my grandkids grow up. I have three sons and I have three grandsons and two step-grandchildren. I hate to separate it like that. I'm just, because they're all my grandkids. And I love them equally. And I have a lot of fun with them all. All their little personalities. It reminds me of when my boys were growing up. Could never understand why they were. My boys were crazy. Three boys, two years apart. They were rambunctious, healthy, precious, beautiful boys. Oh, let me get back. I didn't finish. So, my Sunday vlogs have random days, the days that I choose to, that I have more time to vlog. And it's not so crazy busy. Today is exciting, crazy busy, and I want to take you along with you. I want to take you along with me and share it with you. So that's why I early to start getting ready the vlogging. Um, but yeah, so this will be put out Sunday. I'm trying to put my vlogs out on Sundays. And I realize this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. It's going to be, I might this week because it's Super Bowl Sunday, depending on what the activities, what's going on. I got to find out from my boys what, what the deal is. If they're all going to be here or what's going on. Or my bestie, Yvonne. Last week she was with her grandson. So this week maybe I get to hang out with her. Because I miss her. I haven't even talked to her. She was busy all last weekend. I think we ex exchanged one email but no texting. I miss her. She doesn't even know what I'm doing today. Ooh, bad friend. I'm a bad friend. Um, maybe I'll call her on the drive. But anyway. See, I can ramble on and on. I probably am not making any sense. It's about uploading vlogs on Sundays. That, I want to make my new normal. But being that this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, I might either upload it like at midnight or, you know, wee hours of Monday morning. Because I probably want to incorporate some of Super Bowl Sunday in the vlog. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Got to keep getting ready. A couple minutes late and I'm on my way.